college football guy here with another video. Yes, I'm on the road. <laughs> on the way up here. I'm in, um, where the heck am I? Uh, on the way up to Toledo, Ohio, where we're delivering in the morning on this lovely Sunday. Dodge the thunderstorms in Tennessee on the way out of here. Uh, as for every Sunday, the recap show. Now, this isn't as exciting as the week, but I want everybody to get excited, kind of get used to this because... This recap show is what's going to be going on every week during the year. I'll do the Sunday shows every week during the season to recap all the games. <clears throat> so I want anybody getting used to having this video out every week and every week. Um, this one is the week for recaps of the news stories. I did stuff like most of the stuff you guys know. I'm doing speculation stuff. And there are some new stuff. Now there are some news, some movement in the Clemson lawsuit, in the Florida State lawsuit, change of venue, everything else. I'm not going to do one on that because far more people doing on it. In fact, two uh, have done a, the best one on it. I can say I'm going to be the most uh, breaks the news. If you want breaking news in college football, because he's always on top of it, and I'm still part of me wants to know how. But we're talking about Rick Flugar and Pete Around the Corner. Please check him out. Have me subscribe to his channel and have follow him on X because he breaks all the time. I don't know. He's way ahead of the curve. Like he was the one that was first on. USC and UCLA go to the Big Ten. He's been up in front on a lot of stuff. So, you've been watching also, um, if you want to be in depth, he does in depth, but also the Big Mountain Podcast, who have basically made their viewership off of the, yeah, the ACC lawsuit. Sorry about bouncing around, folks, but when you're driving, it has a tendency to get a little bouncy. But, you um, know, it's hey, and done some incredible videos about the lawsuits. But I guess the Rohan Law and everybody else, they're just... Doug Rohan, I still hope I'm saying his name right now. I apologize, sir, if I'm saying your name wrong. Uh, but they've done great stuff with it. Um, so check their channel out. If you like their videos, if you like them, subscribe to their channel. Um, I'll get into some things about YouTube, fellow YouTubers. One in particular... Yeah. 
Area Schools, which is the primary focus of this channel, 28 schools already. Way ahead of the curve. I was hoping maybe we can get a top 50 this year. Uh, maybe go more than that, folks. There's a lot of people I know of who wait till the last minute to bring their school in, and they're not on the list yet. So I'm waiting on some of them. We'll see what happens. But everybody who put their school in, shouting them out in the comments of that video, thank you. If you want to do it, like I try to explain what that is, like, oh, my goodness, somebody cuts me off. And the Lexus thinks the older girls are dropping 40 miles an hour with their cell phone in their hand. Because I guess that phone call is more important than a semi I'm ready to run them over. And they're still on the phone.
North Carolina and NC State to play each other, not to face Appalachian State, East Carolina, and Charlotte. Once a year, I'm like, oh, you mean the stuff that Greg Flugar wrote two or three weeks ago, and I was not that far behind him? And during the live stream, Bobby was getting clowned by his own subscribers for not knowing that until he admitted on the show that he doesn't watch other YouTubers, he just gets some information off of X, which is mainly where he gets most of his stories. So I wanted to clarify something that people were asking about. I got direct messaged on X about this.
as some of you have gone in the comments and explained why. I have just liked the ones I don't like who are saying you're dumb, you're stupid, you're talking about you should be kicked off YouTube and then that's it. If you disagree with me, why do you disagree? I might be wrong. I've been wrong. I'm not perfect. My bag falls over. Um, I'm not perfect. I make mistakes all the time. Most of everybody on YouTube is an opinion show, and everybody has a different opinion because we're all different people. We all come from different walks of life, different perspectives, and that's how it should be. Nobody should be cookie cutter. You should have different perspectives. Some try to be neutral, some are on there, some are opinionated. But he's hilarious, even. He's got, he and I have gone after each other, and I don't care. It doesn't mean anything. And like I said, Mount Skull, and there's other people out there, and I've gotten messages about people complaining about the outlaw of college football. If you get insulted easily, don't go to him. Because he it takes pleasure in pissing people off. And I'm for it most days. flat out doesn't care. I'm starting to get there. Not there yet, but me being combative at people, oh boy, it'd be a whole different channel then, wouldn't it? Um, yeah, get older. I you know, you say, I'm not going to do that. Get older. Find out. Your attitude changes. Big believe. JY and Steve, Big Mountain. Yeah, JY active on his way yet. Yeah. Steve, his, sometimes his patience limit hit, he hits the limit certain times, I can tell. You get older, you get wiser, and you have less tolerance for stupidity. This is the way it goes. So there's a lot of YouTubers out there. I'm not saying I'm the only fish in the sea, and just my word, but no. All of your people, you're going to have your entertainment from various sources everywhere. That's what we all do. So I just hope that you enjoy what I do. I think there should be changes made. Do it. If you have a suggestion for a video idea, I've always, I've always been saying, if you have an idea, throw it in the comment section. I like it, I'll do it. I'll shout you out for the idea. I have no problem with that. But, you know, we're not all the same. So the ones who are sending those messages on X, I'm not going to be a cookie cutter. I'm not going to say, gee, this team is good, gee, this team is good. Good. They're not quite good enough yet and just vanilla homogenize everything. Then everybody's good. Some teams flat out suck. Okay? Let's be real. Let's be honest about it. And we're going to go through some prediction videos and some of you are going to be jumping from my throat because some of you think your team are going to be good and some of them are going to be lucky to win four games. Now, I haven't done my predictions yet. I've got preliminaries done on everybody prediction videos, those who haven't been around or some are newer to the channel. Last two years I've done this was prediction videos, this was the past two years. Not this season, but the past two years. Prediction videos for every member of the ACC, the Big Ten, the Big 12, the Pac-12, the SEC, the American, the Mountain West, and the Sun Belt. When we have prediction videos is... I'll give an example. 2022 Tennessee is one I use. I had them going 9-3 that year with losses. I picked game by game, win-loss, win-loss, not just overall record, win-loss, game by game. And at the end of the year, I go back as a masochist at the end of the regular season after the bowl championship games are done and see how well I'm doing. I did. My preseason predictions versus what actually happened. Like I said, I picked Tennessee to go 9-3, losing to Georgia, to Florida, and Alabama. Well, they beat Florida and they beat Alabama, but they lost to South Carolina. That means I got three games wrong. So I had a 9-3 record predicting their schedule. Now you see what this is? So what are we going to be doing this year? I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to do this a little different. The American, American, but the every member of the ACC, the Big Ten, the Big 12, the SEC, the American, the Mountain West, the two-member Pac-12, the Sun Belt, and, like last year, I did three schools that were not in those conferences. I did prediction videos for those individually, 
and that was Notre Dame, Toledo, and Middle Tennessee State. This year, if you're not in one of those conferences and you're a subscriber and a subscriber will call, I will do a prediction video for you, and during the season, I'm going to, if you're not in the top 25, I will do predictions for your school, because you're a subscriber. So if you're not in the top 25, I'll still do predictions for your school. Everybody's enjoying the Sunday. Be safe out there and please be good to